but uh, definitely Nadir Beck is showing that uh, last year's performance was not a fluke. Um, he almost won it last year, lost in the last round. He was definitely uh, primed to win the event. But right now, once again, back in um, not sole position because Gukesh is also doing amazing, but tied for first with Gukesh. Six and a half out of uh, ten. So both of these youngsters Honestly, having amazing Nodir tournaments has a much easier finish okay so he's finishing up the with guarantee. what uh they did it okay obviously it is a top player Ju -Wen -Jun. but he's played Wen june and donchenko yes so two of the lower rated players in the tournament yes and gukesh is playing uh prague i mm -hmm. think and uh ali reza and parham so t three of the higher rated players in the tournament yes so and okay there's some guys who have a chance as well Prague, very solid he's playing gukesh he's playing ali reza and he's playing donchenko so okay he has he has a shot anish uh playing uh warmer dom max mm -hmm. and jordan okay jordan is struggling and jan okay it's it's, it's still a wide open race but I, of course i would if we probably look at the stats noterbeck should have some sort of decent chance of winning yeah and and some of the other players also have a decent chance but probably that everyone who is who is below prague and anish they're at six points plus two doesn't really have much of a chance i mean five and a half one point gap with three rounds to go probably not going to really cut it right yeah uh, i mean this this group includes like jan plus one ali reza plus one way e plus one so on and so forth yeah no but uh, obviously looking at the standings uh, i don't know when it happened but i can easily say right now that these guys more or less uh, stabilized let's say uh, their uh, presence in the top uh, cemented their presence in the top Nodirbek, gukesh uh, prague as well all of these youngsters that not long time ago um in fact probably when we first started podcast which was a little bit over a year we were talking about okay who's going to be the next big thing it seems like all of them are uh the next big thing they're definitely making their way to cement themselves into the new generation of elite level players would you say so yeah i think i mean it's it's pretty clear that they're very strong yeah and if they're a bit behind some of the more well-established players it's only by a tiny bit yeah it's definitely not a clear margin. And but Noderbeck, they're here to play. stay. Yeah, of course. Noderbeck, Gukesh, Prague, these will definitely be top players for a long time to come. Mm. And um, yeah, we can talk about other young players, but we've we've uh, already talked about them very often, right? I mean, we, yeah. we talked about the Indian um, juniors. We talked about Ali Reza many times, uh, about Noderbeck. And about even some of the younger guys, but yeah, for sure. I mean, there, there's no, I mean, it was already clear, but there, there's not really much of a doubt. And if you look at the ratings, like Prague is 27.49 and Geary is 27.55. Ali Reza is 27.56. Wesley's 27.57. It's not much of a difference. Nope. Not at all. Uh, Noderbeck is 27.43. Okay, very close. Yeah. 